Hi, I'm Kim Goya, and I'm so glad you're joining me here for Yoga with Meditation Mother. Whether you're an athlete, whether you sit at a desk, you walk or run, it's so important to maintain your hip flexors, your quadriceps, and your psoas for a healthy lifestyle. So that's what we're going to be focusing on today. So let's get started. Yoga for everybody with Meditation Mother. So we're going to start by opening up the quadriceps. This is a chain that's all connected in the front body. So the front of the leg, up, in, up into the hip flexors, all the way up into the psoas. And so if you're feeling tight in one, your other areas are probably affected too. So let's come to laying on the belly. And we're going to stack the hands one on top of the other. Let the legs lengthen back. In fact, let's pick up the left leg and then lengthen it all the way back behind us and do the same thing with the right leg. Pick it up and lengthen it nice and long. Keep your legs next to each other. And if it feels good for your body, for your knees, sweep your left hand back behind and then curl your left foot up towards the sky. Maybe you can grab onto the ankle. Maybe you need a strap in order to make your arm a little bit longer. Feel free to use a towel around your ankle, whatever feels right in order for you to make that connection. And then we're going to feel like that left knee is sliding back, getting really long towards the bottom of your mat. Start to press your left hip into the mat and then pull your foot a little bit closer towards your glute. You might feel a nice opening down the front of the left leg. Make sure your thighs are parallel to each other. And just take a few breaths here, allowing that left hip to push a little bit more into the mat. We're going to be here for several breaths, just allowing that stretch reflex to soften and relax. Take a few breaths here. So if you're doing a lot of sitting, driving, walking, or running, your quadriceps can get very tight into almost like a huge block. And so this allows over time that, that outer encasing, the fascia, to open up, to get some fresh blood and oxygen into that system so that it can soften and relax. Good, release nice and slow, release it all the way down. Pause for a moment, stacking the hands and just notice any differences from right to left. Let's try the other side. So sweep your right arm along your side, curl your right foot, grab onto the ankle or shin or a towel. Good, lengthen that right knee back behind you towards the bottom of your mat and then press the right hip into the mat. Open up the whole front of the leg. And just take a few breaths here. Relaxing your belly, softening your whole body, pressing that right hip into the mat just a little bit more. Good, and then just keep breathing. So wherever there's any congestion, take a deep breath into that space. And on an exhale, soften the body. Good, a few more breaths just like that. And allow your body to really relax into the space. Good. And then release all the way down. Stacking the hands one on top of the other. Pause for just a moment, allowing your body to settle in. We're going to roll over onto our back for a moment and start to lengthen the psoas. So lengthen the legs all the way down. Separate your feet really wide out to the corners of the mat. Take your right ankle and cross it over the left ankle. So we're starting to make a C shape with the body. Take your right arm and sweep it overhead. Start to lower that left shoulder blade. So making a banana shape. You're opening up the whole right side of the body. 
Feel the length of your psoas, so it's the hip flexor, the outer hip, all the way up to the low belly. And from your right ankle, take a deep breath here, take an inhale. Exhale. Good, let's do it again, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale, relax the arms down along your side, uncross the ankles, pause for a moment. Get your feet nice and wide, legs long. This time we'll take that right leg, cross it over the left, and then sweep the right arm over to the left, making that C shape with the body. Getting really long on the left side, take a deep breath from your left ankle all the way up to the fingertips, expand. And exhale. Good. Do that two more breaths. Last one. Good. Come back to center. Uncross the ankles and pause for a moment. Just let everything go. We're going to bend the knees, roll over to one side, and make our way all the way up to seated. And coming to hands and knees for a moment, we'll take that right foot and plant it out in front. So we're starting to come into a lunge. If you need a block underneath your hands, a pillow or a blanket to raise up and give you some more room, you can. I love going on fists to protect my wrists. And then we're just going to shift our weight forward. So notice my knee is directly over my heel and then we're going to shift our weight forward. If you feel like your knee is a little in, just scoot that foot up. You want to make yourself a lot of space so that you can move that hip forward. And we're starting to get into that hip flexor here. Our hip flexors get tight like they're in a fist or a knot, and so we need some time in order to allow that to release. So just staying here for a moment. If you feel like you want to have a little bit more sensation, you can take your front foot and roll to the pinky edge and let that knee fall open a little. I don't know if you can see that, but knee falling open to the side and then move into the space a little bit more. Good. So I'm a runner. My hip flexors get very tight. And so this is imperative for me to be able to really open them up and stay healthy. Let's plant that foot so you can stay here or if you want, you can bring your left hand down. Maybe you curl that left foot up and reach back with your right hand. So this is another level. Wherever you are today, you can just keep it. And then we're going to lean forward a little bit more. Maybe pull the full foot in, get the quadricep and hip flexor at the same time. Good. Take several breaths here. And release all the way down. Let's come back to your hands and knees. Pause for a moment. And then this time, bring your right leg forward. So we're just going to scoot it on up and then come to fists. Shift your weight forward and let that left hip flexor open up now. Again, noticing my knee is directly over my heel so that I can move and shift my weight forward. Good. Stay here for several breaths. And then if you want, you can roll to the pinky side of your left foot. Give yourself a little more space to move forward into that hip flexor. Bring that foot back to center, knee back to center. If you want, plant the right hand this time. Maybe curl the right foot up. Reach back and grab that foot. And then lean forward into your hip flexor a little bit more. Maybe pull the foot forward to open up the quadricep. So we're getting a whole front leg hip flexor stretch in this moment. Good. Take a few breaths here. Allowing time to do its magic, releasing, unwinding. 
And then we're going to come back to hands and knees. Good. Come all the way to seated. And let's see how we feel in our body. So gently closing the eyes and just noticing how we feel after just a few minutes of opening up the front body. We'll bring the hands to heart center. Bow the mind to the heart and just thank yourself for giving you the exact thing that you need for your body and your mind. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm Kim Goyette, your meditation mother. If you like this video, drop a comment. Let me know how your body's feeling after this short stretch. And if you want to receive weekly videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Yoga with Meditation Mother. If you want to learn about yoga retreats happening all around the world, check out my website at www.meditationmutha.com. Thanks so much. See you next time.